Hey everyone, what is going on? So we're going to be taking a look at my veteran run, but before we get started, I wanted to mention a couple of things. In the Domanitan feature video that I released yesterday, uh, I actually deleted it, but I had messed up the commentary. I was talking as if... Uh, when I was doing one battle, for some reason I had thought that battle had ended halfway through and I started commentating on a new battle even though it was still during the old ba <laughs> or the battle that was currently going on. I got confused. I do apologize for that. Um, there's a couple reasons why. I mean, I was really stressed. I might be losing my job and I'm really worried about that. Plus, I was doing it in a self raid at the same time, so I really was, I was looking up and down. But nonetheless, I do apologize for that, guys. You know, I, I, I had some pretty nasty comments and they really got to me. Uh, most of you guys are amazing, but uh, sometimes, you know, you do get trolls once in a while. So I do, uh, it really got to me, what can I say? Uh, but either way, that's totally fine. We're still gonna uh, learn from it and move on and hopefully we don't make mistakes like that again. But at the end of the day, it happens. Nothing you could really do about it. But thank you so much to all of you that are still watching the content. I really do appreciate it and I love you guys. Uh, and I will try to better myself in terms of uh, commentating in the future. But anyway, we're taking a look at my team, which I use. I got this from Panic23, who is a streamer. I will leave a link to his Twitch in the description down below. You definitely want to go ahead and follow him. I watch him a lot and I don't know if he got the team from somewhere else but this is the team I saw on his channel Pidgeot with Scrafty and Goliath Stunfisk in the back so it worked really well for me I actually went 9-1 to hit veteran unfortunately I don't have the 5-0 I started recording after that set and I went 4-1 to reach veteran so it's really exciting for me uh, it took a while to get to veteran for me I mean usually I do get it in the great league but that's okay it's not really a big deal I'm not concerned about it or anything but yeah I mean this is a great team uh, it's an expensive team all these Pokemon are excelled, uh, so I just want to let you know that. Uh, yeah, it's really an expensive team. My Scrafty actually is not finished, it's currently at 2405. I don't have enough XLs to finish it, so uh, whenever I get those, I will continue to increase its attack or its stats as time goes on. Glowing Stunfisk is finished, and so is Pidgeot. Um, yeah, and that's okay. So we talked about all of that through the first battle. So good game to my opponent. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the second game. Uh, again, using this team. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll switch teams. Honestly, I like this team. This team has been working out great. Uh, Pidgeot is amazing. I mean, with Feather Dance, I mean, you, they don't know if you're going to go for Feather Dance or Brave Bird. Okay, so we're going up against Elite. Now, Elite is uh, a friend of mine, not in person, but we actually battled in a couple of Arena tournaments uh, that I host. <coughs> Excuse me. Or well, that my friend hosts on my Discord if you want to join. Um, and I battled him a couple times. Really cool. Uh, so we're battling again. He does go for the acid spray. I decided not to shield that. I mean, we could take any attack, even if it happened to be like a Mega Horn, which is resistant, but it would still do a lot. We could still take it. But it's just an acid spray. Good to know. He probably has acid spray and draw run. That's what I was thinking. Regardless, he switches into Shadow Snorlax, so I'm going to bring in my Scrafty. Uh, he does get off an attack. I figured this one was going to be super power, but I know I could take it. So there's really no reason to use a shield right now. Uh, even though I'm only at 2405, Scrafty can still take that uh, power punch, and yeah, she's going to be able to KO. In comes Escavalier. Escavalier will farm me down, but we still have that Pidgeot. I go for the Feather Dance immediately. Uh, this is not going to KO. I don't think he'll shield. I don't want to debuff myself, so I'm not going for Brave Bird. Now I get a couple more Gust in. I'm expecting this to be Acid Spray because I assume that he has, again, I assume that he has, um, what is it, Drill Run. So that's why I, I you know, I'm not going to shield at that point. And Umbreon is coming in. I am going to go ahead and go for the Feather Dance to debuff. We actually get a shield. To be honest, I really wasn't expecting the shield. But hey, that's a benefit to me. I decided to, to debuff Umbreon because Umbreon and Galarian Stunfisk, kind of like, it, it's a long match, right? So it's kind of like... Um, I figured I'll debuff it. We could take these hits a lot better. Um, and yeah, we really don't have to shield. We're just gonna go for Earthquake. There's no reason to bait at this point in time. I honestly didn't... I didn't know if he was gonna shield. I think he does shield this one. He does, uh, which is fine, but there was no reason to bait on my end. Uh, we could take these foul plays really well. And uh, we actually see a switch. I thought that switch was coming, so I didn't throw. Now, could I have farmed down Escavalier without throwing this Rock Slide? Maybe. Uh, but I would have taken quite a bit of counter damage. I still think I could have done it. Probably the way to go. But at the end of the day, I knew it really didn't matter. Because now we're going to be able to throw the Earthquake unshielded. 
Uh, we still have Pidgeot. Pidgeot's going to be able to do a lot with Gust. We still have a shield. I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Pidgeot, try to get to a Feather Dance. Now, I'll admit I wasn't counting, uh, so I didn't know what he was at. He was at an attack now, of course. I didn't realize he was at a second one, so he is. So that's going to KO my Pidgeot. But again, I knew, I knew it didn't matter. Uh, so this KOs my Pidgeot. I'm thinking to myself, okay, he should be out of energy, and even if he gets to another attack, we're going to be able to survive it, and Goliath Stunfisk will go for the Rock Slide to KO the Umbreon, and that is going to be a great game to my opponent. Very well played. It's always a pleasure to battle. Again, we battled in two Silphorina Cups. I know I won one of them. I don't remember if I won uh, the other match against him in the other the other time of battle. I think I did. I think I actually beat him both times, but he's a great battler. Thank you so much for the game. I really appreciate that. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Uh, and see how this goes. So it's going to be my Pidgeot into Giratina. This is a great matchup because we double resist Shadow Ball, Ominous Wind, Shadow Claw. The only thing is, as long as he, if he had that, uh, what is it? Uh, Dragon Pulse. If he had Dragon Pulse, we wouldn't double resist that. But Pidgeot could still take it, so I wasn't worried about that. And this is, is looking to be hard countered because he brings in Galvantula, and of course we have Galarian Stunfisk, which walls Galvantula. So it's it's fantastic. I think I charge up max energy here. We could take lunges. It does debuff us, but I'm really not worried about that. And the thing is, like, I've actually been battling quite a few Giratina Origin, to be honest with you. And this team. I mean, Giratina Origin really has no place to go, unless if it's up against Goliath Stunfisk. I guess it can do okay against that, but Goliath Stunfisk still has play. Um, but Scrafty does resist the Ghost Attacks, and Pidgeot double resists them, so uh, it's great for those two Pokemon. And that, that Earthquake still did a lot to Giratina Origin, even though we're debuffed multiple times. I decided to just stay in here so I could align Pidgeot on to that Giratina. Um, I decided not to switch out. Uh, again, Scrafty would have done well as well, so I could have probably switched out, but it was good that I didn't. Um, I do go into Scrafty now. Uh, of course, I am keeping in mind that he could possibly have Hurricane, and I don't want to be hit with a Hurricane. So that's going through my mind right now. I decided to just uh, boost up because I know he's either going to debuff me or hit me with Hurricane. I do shield this. Um, I think it was one short. I could be. I think it was one short because I was counting, but uh, I didn't want to take the chance just in case I missed like an ice shot. I decided to shield. I didn't want to get hit with a Hurricane, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead get a shield there. Very nice. I know this is only icy wind, so I'm going to go ahead and take this just fine. Um, I don't necessarily have to win this matchup, I just have to get it low where like a gust of two will take out the Articuno, you know? Uh, that's what I'm thinking at this point in time. So I do go ahead and go for the power up punch. Yeah, they're debuffing me, but I'm also buffing myself back up. They do switch into Giratina. I'm going to switch into Pidgeot, catch the Shadow Ball. Uh, so very nice. So we are going to be able to take that. As I said, Pidgeot double resisted. Uh, you love to see it. So at this point, I just I just go for the Fawn Down. And I'm like, okay, I'll just go for the Fawn Down. We could take another Shadow Ball. And we don't have we don't have to worry about this Giratina, right? We could take that, we could farm down, and we have two Feather Dance attacks, almost two Brave Birds, and they do decide to leave the match. So great game to my opponent. Uh, kind of hard counted though, wouldn't you say? But it happens to all of us. So uh, nice team too. I really like that team. That's a pretty cool team. So well played to my opponent. Uh, so let's go ahead and move into uh, the next game. I think I started having trouble finding opponents, but I, I edited some of the, the cute times out. So we do have the next opponent, so let's go ahead and see how this game plays out. Uh, so Pidgeot into Dragalge. Okay, so I wasn't really sure how I should play this. Um, I think I stay in and go for Brave Bird. Um, I think that's what I do. So I am staying in. I do go for Brave Bird. Um, they do shield this, so Feather Dance would have been amazing here. But what can I say? I wasn't really... I didn't know if they would have shielded that, so I did switch out, they switch out into S Cavalier, but they are down a shield, and uh, we're able to take these counter attacks, going for the <coughs> Earthquake, excuse me guys. So we do go for the Earthquake, they actually double shield, I was not expecting that at all. Um, so that's totally fine, I know this is a drill run, uh, I actually let this go, should I have shielded this? Maybe, I could get off the rock side because I survived that, yeah I probably should have shielded that. Uh, the reason I didn't shield it is because I knew I could maybe get a decent amount of fun with Pidgeot, but then I realized Pidgeot is really low, and like Megahorn would KO at this range, so I do go ahead and shield it. So I think I should have shielded that, maybe I should have shielded that Goliath Stunfisk, it's just a drill run, but that's fine. Uh, so I do go ahead and successfully farm down, and uh, you, you saw me tap on it, uh, luckily it didn't register because it was Goliath Stunfisk that came in. So out comes Dragalge, he's going to go ahead and throw an attack at me, I'm just going to let it go, just going to be an Aqua Tail, very nice. Uh, so I do throw the Foul Play, hoping that this would KO. It actually doesn't KO, uh, but I do go ahead and throw the Foul Play. Um, 
and I think I farmed down. I do shield this because I'm afraid of outrage. It's just an aqua tail. And uh, so he, he he has another move. At this point, I don't think it's enough for, uh, uh, outrage, but I'm hoping it's not. And it, it turns out it's not. So I do go ahead and farm down, which is nice. Uh, and then he has his Galarian Stunfisk. But the only thing is we get KO'd by an Earthquake at this health. So, uh, and we only have a Pidgeot in the back. So I could have tried to catch an Earthquake, which is what I was thinking of trying to do. But I don't, I'm, I'm not successful at it. Uh, see, I was trying to switch right there. You saw me tapping on the Pidgeot. Unfortunately, his move went through first, which is going to be enough to KO. And I was hoping the Brave Bird would KO Glorian Stunfisk, but unfortunately, it's just not enough uh, because of how tanky Glorian Stunfisk is in the Ultra League. I think that would have KO'd in the Great League, but he does get to a Rock side and he's going to be able to win this one. So, well played to my opponent. Unfortunately, we were not able to win that. Uh, maybe a couple of mistakes. Again, Feather Dancing that uh, Dragalge in the beginning would have been really nice. But uh, it's okay. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next one. Pidgeot into Mandibuzz. So Mandibuzz, um, the reason I wanted Galarian Stunfisk on this team is because Mandibuzz is kind of annoying. And at least we have an answer to Mandibuzz with Galarian Stunfisk. So we're going to go ahead and take this. Uh, so it's going to be a foul play. That's fine. We're able to take it. Uh, we do go for the Feather Dance. Um, now, I would have had to... Like, Brave Bird wouldn't have KO'd. So like I would have had to switch out. Uh, if I went straight for the Brave Bird because I would have been debuffed. So we're going to go ahead and take the Foul Play, and I believe I go for Brave Bird now. Um, it's still not going to KO because Mana Buzz is an absolute monster. I can't wait to get enough XLs for that. Um, but we're able to uh, Gust down, so we actually do win Switch, literally 1 HP. Uh, in comes S. Cavalier, and when I saw that, I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. So I do bring in my Scrafty, um, and Scrafty... Even though we're only at 2405 CP, we can still take hits because uh, Scrafty is really bulky. So, of course, the higher the better. So, once I get it up to like 2500, it's going to be better. I do decide to shield this. I think I'm in trouble unless if I have an ants, unless if there's something weak to Galarian Stunfisk in the back. I guess we'll find out. We charge up to Foul Play and throw the Power Up Punch, hoping to bait, hoping that they shield this one, uh, which they do. So, very nice for me. And um, I think I shield and farm down. Yeah, I do. So I'm actually going to be able to beat S. Cavalier, which to me was crazy. I didn't think I would win this matchup, but I guess we do. Okay. Even in the two shield, we do use an extra shield, and it is Glorian Stunfisk. We go ahead and throw the foul play. Uh, so this is going to... Does he shield this? He does shield it. Nice shield. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this hit. But at this point, I knew I had the game because I knew my Galarian Stunfisk, being at full health, could survive an Earthquake, and I knew his couldn't. So I wasn't worried at this point. So I knew I knew we were going to win this game, and we actually get to it first and get it all first. And this is going to KO the Galarian Stunfisk. And that is going to be a great game to my opponent, very well played. Uh, but we're going to be able to take that one. Uh, so the next step on the way to Legend, we're going to be able to reach Vedrin with this beautiful... For one, picking up a Frillish, I'm definitely going to trade that for XLs. We're still building uh, a Jellicent, and this is going to get me to Vendrin. So, great games to my opponents, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.